To the latest on COVID-19 this morning, we are seeing unprecedented case numbers and more canceled flights. And a lot of this is all due to the highly contagious Omicron variant. Mandy Gaither is looking into the disruptions happening all across the country. A new year, yeah, yeah. continued concern, record numbers of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Omicron is truly everywhere. Disrupting a normalcy Americans were hoping to see in 2022. What I am so worried about over the next month or so is that our economy is going to shut down, not because of policies from the federal government or from the state governments, but rather because so many of us are ill. U.S. airlines already affected. Sick crews, winter storms have led to more than 2,300 more flights being canceled today, bringing the total to more than 13,000 cancellations since Christmas Eve. We should anticipate huge delays and disruptions in that, all transportation hubs. Healthcare services exhausted after several surges of the virus stretched thin again by a growing number of COVID-19 patients. Some states calling in the National Guard for help. We're managing, but we're getting sick. And it's a, it's a staffing issue for our hospitals right now, particularly our emergency departments. As students Aya returned to school, unprecedented numbers of children with COVID being admitted to the hospital. Healthcare experts say the vast majority unvaccinated. Whether adults or children, we're not seeing the same level of severity. But if you're unvaccinated, that's the group still at highest risk. I'm Mandy Gaither reporting. Back here at home, Indiana is dealing with a staggering number of COVID cases. The state's latest report included more than 12,000 new cases. That's the highest total for a single day during the pandemic by thousands of cases. You can see this dramatic increase when compared to the last few months, and there's even more concern for cases coming off, of course, New Year's Eve gatherings. Remember, these are numbers from late last week. The state took a break from reporting for the holiday weekend. We are expecting new numbers early tomorrow.